everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another unboxing. I know we just did an unboxing in my previous video. I've had both of these planned for quite a while and they both just happened to hit like the same week. So I just thought double unboxing. I don't think anybody's really going to complain about it though. So our unboxing today is from a new vendor to the game. Not really, but kind of. Jammers Critters. I think a lot of you guys have probably heard of them because they're pretty known for their really nice Amok box enclosures. I actually met them last year. They came to the Tarantula Takeover show and they were really kind and they gave me and Peko both a couple enclosures that they had made and I loved them, he loved them. So they actually reached out to me recently and said that they're trying to get into vending tarantulas also, which I think that's a really great idea because they have already had some success with their enclosures and I think it makes it really simple for the shopper, especially like a new person to tarantulas to be able to get an appropriate enclosure inexpensively along with the tarantula that you're gonna get. And I have to admit, I really appreciate the convenience today because usually when I'm unboxing, I have to like get all my enclosures together and like think about everything I'm putting in them and what enclosures I have available. And especially with situations going on in the world, I'm not really going out to stores. So yeah, I just haven't been doing a lot of shopping. So I feel like really limited lately. So yeah, they asked me if I wanted to unbox a tarantula and an enclosure for a video. And I said, sure, they sent me a list and I actually picked out a species that I do not have. And this is a species that has evaded me a lot. It's not a species that I don't ever find because I have seen it, but I just always walk away without one. Except today, we're going to finally be keeping it and I think you guys are gonna like it. So let's just get right into this. This is the first box and this I believe is some artwork from his wife. And I thought I would go ahead and open this on camera as well. I'm curious what this is. I hope you packed it okay. Shh, no, shh. Here's my knife and I need to learn to stop talking with it like this. Oh, what can this be? Oh my gosh, this looks really fancy. That's so cute. I bet this is resin. I might have to message you because I'm actually trying to get into resin for preservation. We'll talk more about that in another video. There's a little decal and some business cards. Ooh, these are little spider webs. I love them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This box looks really fragile -y. Oh, I recognize this. As an avid coffee drinker, I can recognize what this is right away. It's so cool. Oh, it has my name on it. Tarantula Cat. That's so satisfying. Thank you. I need this. So now I'm going to bring the camera down and we are going to unbox this. They did mention having a little bit of issue packing up these tarantulas so i'm kind of expecting maybe a little bit of some attitude maybe i don't know I, i'm not sure thank you so much and it's literally no problem i'm guessing this is tarantulas and this is probably enclosures so let's look at these enclosures oh perfect ah oh, this is what i love look at this these are Amok boxes they use, but they drill like the perfect tiny holes. I do not have this patience at all or skill. <laughs> if you are just getting your first tarantula, you don't have to go buy a whole bag of substrate. You don't have to go buy a whole bag of sphagnum moss. You don't have to go buy a whole big piece of cork bark and break this little crumb off. Like they give you everything you need in the enclosure. All right, same concept. So we got two of these enclosures. Let's go ahead and put these together first and then we will see what this is. Perfect. Some little moss to mix in. And then before we put in the decor, I'm gonna wet some of this down. Now let's add the decor. I love this tiny little hide carved out. <laughs> so cute. Pop that in. I'm gonna start, make like a little starter burrow right there too. All right, plant a little flower. Okay, there's one. Yeah, that looks cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, let's do the other. Another, another cute little hide. <laughs> 
start a little burrow here. So you get a couple different kinds. I'll try this one. I'll do like right here, yes. A little water dish right in the corner. So there are the two enclosures we have prepared. They look really cool. So let's just go ahead and try to get these tarantulas in here. So I guess let's boogie. Oh, here they are. <laughs> oh, little bitty babies. Davis pentalores. These are so cool and I've never had this species. I know it's like such a surprise because it's not like totally uncommon, but they are gorgeous. I'm not really sure about their growth rate. I don't feel like they get very large at all from what I remember, but they do get really colorful. Anyway, let's just go ahead and pop these on in and see if we can get them out. Now when they're this small, sometimes I just kind of let them come out on their own. It's really far down in there. I'm gonna get a light and see how easy this would be to extract. So all I really see down there are some little butt fingers and it's facing in the opposite direction. I'm not really sure if I can really pull this out without like, I don't want to squish it. Oh, this is the other one. <laughs> I just popped it open and it was right on up there. I scared it by accident, but this is the other one. All right, I'm not going to be focusing on much besides getting this tarantula out safely. There we go. All right. They're so little. I don't want to like accidentally hurt it. <laughs> oh my God, it's like gonna take off. I'm telling you right now, it's about to take off. Like I know, I know that. What a peppy little sling. Oh, it's so cute though. Oh my gosh, it's so cute though. What a speedy little, a little sling. You went from nothing to high speed chase. All right, I'm gonna let this one simmer for a minute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this one going and we'll try to extract this uh, towel out here shortly. Second one, so cute. For being so little, they already have some color. This one's actually like waiting like right out there. We're gonna wait a few minutes and see if it comes out. Okay. We're running out of places to go, so there we go. <laughs> Got it. Instantly goes to hide. But look at that, it already has that uh, Davis Pentaloris like abdomen and it's really cute. Like I wasn't expecting it to have a little bit of pattern or anything yet. Happy we got one out at least. Now question is what is this one going to do? All right. I just don't want you to get hurt. There we go. I think we're gonna get it out. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, I see it coming. There's like a tiny toe just like waiting to bolt. Yep. <laughs> this actually turned out to be a pretty decent method. Wait, where'd you go? Oh no, come back. I can boss it around a little bit better. Nope, nope. Okay. We're just gonna have to do the same thing. Look at me, a pro. There it is. Yeah, these are actually a pretty good size. They're small, but they're not like scary small. Like they will take like crickets and stuff at this size, typically. I know, I know. Actually, I don't really think you have too many places to go at this point. You know, if you had just got out, the first time it's hiding right back there. Finally, two Davis pentaloris, a species I did not have. And we hopefully will have at least one female. So yeah, I thank you guys so much for reaching out to me. I will link your website down below. And yeah, all right, I'll keep you guys updated on how these little babies grow. Okay, so yeah, that is today's video. We have the two Davis Pentaloris slings. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And hey, you want to be. Don't forget I'm going to scream the news probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring with new designs. All linked down below. Go check it out. And I will see you guys soon. What if I ended every video like, toodles, toodaloo. Like this video. <laughs> This is like what I wait to do at the end of every video. I just take it all and I just twist it.
and keep twisting it. And then I go, woo! And then I just like tuck it in. Oh, that feels so much better.